Hi children. Today let us do beginning consonant diagram and the letters are S W. We look at some word, look at some pictures, do some exercise. Let us enjoy doing beginning consonant diagram and you should be able to read aloud. Look at the word and just read it. All right? Good. We are doing beginning consonant diagram. S W is the beginning letters I have chosen for you. Let's look at our first word. Our first word is what is this? Good swan. What is swan? It's a bird, beautiful white bird that glides on the water. Can the swan fly? Yes, beautiful sight to see the swan fly in the sky. Yes, you can see swans in the zoo, in the pictures. When you read about your Ramayana, Mahabharata, you might have seen beautiful pictures of swan over there. Yes, now ask mommy to read to you the ugly duckling. One ugly duckling turns out to be in the end, a beautiful white swan. Let's look at our next word. Look at this word. Read. Sway. What is sway? When there is a gentle breeze, what happens to plants and trees? It gently sways. That means moving from one side to the other. What do you do when you hear lovely music? What do you do in the house? You gently move from side to side, sway, okay, that is sway, good. Let's look at our next word, what word is this? Swam. Mama, I saw the fish, it swam across, darted across. You like to swim like a fish? Mama, now I can swim nicely. I saw my brother, he swam across the swimming pool so beautifully. Learning to swim is a very good exercise. Swam. Swam is also a group of bees or group of honey bees or wasp, a group of them, a collection of them. You call them swarm of bees, a swarm of honey bees, a swarm of whatever comes in groups, a swarm of ants. When it is a big collection, we say swarm. Look, in the garden I saw a swarm of bees on the mango tree. Maybe there is a nest over there. Let us look at our next word. Swim, learning to swim. It is a very good exercise for the body, for the mind, relaxes the whole system. Swimming, would you like to go for a swim? Yes. What do you watch in your house? In your house, mommy has a lovely fish bowl. And what do you watch? You see the fish swim around. Your colorful tiny fishes. Swim around in the bowl or in the fish tank. Now, what do you feel? So happy. What do you feel when you go for a swim? You feel very relaxed and very fresh. Good. Let's look at our next word over here. Swing. Good. If you have a huge tree in front of your house and daddy puts on a lovely swing for you there. What do you feel? Very happy. Where do you see the swing normally? In the playground. When you go to the playground, when you go to the park, you will see, always see swing. And what do you do? You run and sit. Up and down, up and down you go on the swing and you feel very happy. Good. Let's look at our next word. What is it? Swirl. Have you seen water swirling? There are dangerous swirls in the 
pond sometimes, in the river sometimes, in the sea sometimes. Water going fast, round and round. And if you get caught in a swirl, a pool where there is a strong swirl, then it is very dangerous. Curd. Let us look at the next word. What do we see here? Sweet. Like to eat lot of sweets? Yes. And then you go to the dentist and say, Doctor, I have a nice cavity. It's paining. Do not eat too much of sweets. Don't bite and crush the sweet. Okay? Even if you eat, what must you do? Drink some water, gargle your mouth. Good. Let's look at our next word. What do we see here? Sword. Yes, who uses a sword? When you fight. Okay? Now, when you act like a soldier, yes, then you have a nice sword in your hand. Good. Shall we read all the words now? Beginning consonant, digraph, the word begins with SW. The two letters. So, let's read. Swan, sway, swam, swim, swing, swirl, sweet, sword. Good. Now we'll do an exercise with the beginning consonant diagram SW. We look at a picture. We'll do an exercise. You say the word when you see the picture. Shall we? And here we are. Let's look at our first picture. Now, what is it? What bird is this? From season to season, this bird flies long distances. Okay? Wherever it's cold, it will come to the warm countries. And when the Again, the winter starts in that place. It will go back to the place it came from. What bird is this? Swallow. They are very strong wings. They can fly for long hours. What is it? Swallow. What bird is this? Swallow. They fly for long distances. Fly away from countries, cold countries. Looking for warmer places. Curd. Now, let's look at our next picture. What do we see here? Yes, beautiful bird gliding on the water. Pretty little swan. Very good. The swan also can fly. Swan. Say that. What bird is this? Swan. Very good. Now, let's look at our next picture. What do we see here? Lots of bees. Wasps. Bees. They all collect honey for us. Yes? Now, look at these bees. They make a big buzzing noise. And when you see them in large group, you say, Look! There is a swarm of bees. Honey bees. Yes? And what do they do? They have a honey bees. They collect honey in the nest and then you get honey. So, what is this? Swarm of bees. Swarm. Read this word. Swarm. Large collecting. Should you go near them? Should you disturb them? The full, the full collection of them. The swarm of bees, they may come and attack you. So, never disturb the large group of bees. Swarm. Good. Shall we look at our next picture? Look what we have here. What is this? When do you wear this? On a cold day. Yes. When it is nice and cold, rainy season, winter season, you put on something to keep you warm. What is that? Sweater. Good. When you are not well, mommy says, put on your sweater. Then you feel good. Read sweater. What color sweater do you have? What color sweater is this? Nice and red. Good. Sweater. Good. 
Let's look at our next picture. Look what we have here. Look at the picture. What is the little boy doing? Or, little, or what is the man doing? He's sweeping. Sweeping the road or sweeping the garden, sweeping the lanes. Sweeper. Sweeping away the trash, dry leaves. What is this? Sweep. Do you sweep your house, your garden? Sweep. You sweep with what? A large broom. Collect all the leaves and trash to one side. Put it into the bin. Sweep. Good. Let's look at our next picture. What do we have here? What is the little boy doing? He is enjoying himself. He is swimming. Yes, he is swimming in the pool. He is having a nice, happy, relaxed time. Swim. What is he doing? He is swimming. Do you like to swim? Yes, ask daddy to take you for a swimming class. What is the boy doing? He is swimming. Swim. Good. Let's look at another picture. What picture we have here? Little girl and boy. What are they doing? They are enjoying on a swim. Where is the swing? In the park. In the, at the park. If you go to the park, you will find one, two, three, number of lovely swing. And you go up and down, up and down the swing. And what do you feel? You feel happy. When the breeze brushes your face and if somebody pushes you from back, you feel very happy. Swing. Good. Shall we look at a new picture? What do we see here? At home, you have this in every room. And what does daddy say? Do not touch the switch with your wet finger. This is a switch. You put on and you put off the light. Switch. You should not touch. Children should not touch the switch with wet hands. Children should not play with the switch. Putting on and off the light. Good. Shall we look at another picture? Look, what is that? Swirl. The wind. When the wind swirls like this, it will throw up a lot of dust. Yes? But if you see a swirl in the water, then you say, that's a very dangerous place. When there is a very hard, strong wind, go out and see. You will see a swirl of dust. Coming up. Swirl. Good. Shall we look at another picture? Look what we have here. What is this? It's a sword. Very good. In olden days, when the soldiers fought, they always had a sword in the hand. So, what is it for? It is to defend oneself. Good. What is this? Sword. Good. When you are acting on the stage, then you can ask for a sword. The teacher gives you and says, come on, do like this, act like this. What is this? Sword. Good. Shall we look at a new picture? Look what we have here. Little piggy. What is another word for pig? Who can tell me? Yes, another word for the pig is swine. Good. Pig is also called swine. Where do you find the swine? In the pigsty. Good. Read this. Swine. Good. 